What's going on everybody? This is Michael Isla and if you're watching this video you are looking to start fingerstyle guitar. Fingerstyle guitar, the type of fingerstyle I'll be teaching, there's a lot of different variations but the type I'm going to be teaching is the universal style of fingerstyle guitar. It's the classical style. It's what you'll find being taught in universities and colleges throughout the world. So it's very important to know that you're going to see a lot of different variations, especially if you're on YouTube or looking at uh, other resources and magazines. But this is the classical style, and it translates to all types of different styles. So let's jump right in, and we're going to talk about uh, the right hand. So the right hand is which we're going to be doing our picking. And we call these fingers very specific letter names, and we'll be addressing them by these letter names. So uh, the thumb is P, index finger is I, the middle finger is M, the A is the ring finger, and the pinky we call C. So P, I, M, A, and C. So very important uh, when you're doing exercises, if you look at anything over the internet, you'll see certain exercises that will say P, I, M, P, I, M, A. Now you know what they mean. So one of the most important things, probably the most important things when we start finger style guitar, believe it or not, is not the fingers. It's actually the position of the body and the hands. So when we talk about finger style guitar, we go, we're going to talk about utilizing the muscles as efficiently as possible. And how do we do that? We do that by being in the mid-range position of our body and our hands. So first things first, uh, when you think about playing with the guitar, uh, you want to make sure that your wrist is aligned with your forearm. So we want to make sure we're not doing this, or doing this, or doing that, or doing that. So we want to be mid-range in every part of the guitar before we even play. So a great way to get started is take your right hand, dangle it to your right side, pretend the guitar is right in front of you, right there. Okay. So we're going to grab the guitar, and show you exactly what we're talking about. So, relax, and bring your hand up, and just place it above the string. So it should be nice and relaxed. As you can see, my knuckle is aligned with my wrist, which is aligned with my elbow. Okay, mid-range position, so important uh, when you're starting. This is, just getting to the, the position alone is the number one thing that you need to worry about, as opposed to worrying about moving the fingers. But moving the fingers will be actually be secondary to gaining the correct position. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna relax our hand, we're gonna bring our hand up, and we're gonna take our thumb, our P, and we're gonna put it on the fourth string. So I just want you to do that a couple times. Relax, get it on the fourth string, okay? So one of the best things that you can do is get a mirror, and you're gonna look at your hand in that mirror, and it really should look exactly like my hand. So you're gonna have the knuckles lined up with the wrist, lined up with the forearm. So be very cautious before you even play your first note that you're not automatically deviating to one side or the other. Because what that's going to do is now the muscle is not aligned properly and it's not going to work as efficiently and as quickly. So it will feel a little odd and uncomfortable. You're going to want to kind of do your own things. But just really, really focus in on the mid-range position. So we're going to take our thumb once again, put it on the fourth string, okay? And then we're going to take the index, middle, and the ring finger, so I, M, and A, and we're going to put it on the third, second, and uh, first string respectively. So P on four, I on three, M on two, and A on one, okay? Another really important factor, and take your hand off again, another really important factor is when we put our hands on the guitar, our thumb really is going to help us align our hand well. So meaning that I'm not going to do perpendicular, right, or parallel. So when we play on guitar, you want the thumb to be at about a 45 degree angle. So that angle is going to be about here. So the thumb, if you're looking at the thumb from here, is going to be about that angle. That's when you know you have the right angle. Your wrist is going to be elevated and as opposed to this, which is very common what you see. It's very common to see this really flat finger style which there's uses, great uses for that as well. Um, and then even flamenco, this could be used. But for our purposes, just the 45 degree angles. You can see it kind of from there. Okay, so once again, relax the hand. And the fingers are going to be doing all the movements. So we want not a stiff, 
put a just a really relaxed, firm hand right there. P on four, I on three, M on two, and A on one. And all we're going to do is we're going to take our thumb and we're just going to pluck from the fourth string to our finger. That's it right there. Four times is fine. Okay? And while you're doing that, you want to relax the fingers. It's very common for uh, new students to kind of push into their index, middle, and first fingers, their A, M, and C, and do that. Really, it's all about the thumb. The thumb movement comes actually from the wrist. The thumb is much longer than you think it is. So when we're relaxed, and we look into the mirror, very important, look into the mirror. I want your hand to look exactly like this. And you're only gonna know that when you're looking into the mirror. So, a couple things to watch out for. We wanna make sure we're not uh, throwing our hand all the way tilting outward. We wanna make sure we're not uh, doing it this way. Of course, you can see it'd be hard to play almost in either one of these positions. So what's the best way to go? Just like we were talking about, mid-range position. There's this really wonderful area in the middle that's gonna be your best range for you to play. So once again, P, I, M, and A on four, three, two, one, right there. And we're gonna align the tip joints of our fingers just a little bit in front of our knuckle, okay? And I'll post up another video and play a little bit, play slowly so you can kind of see the alignment of the finger to the knuckles and also the angle of the thumb. These are huge, huge, huge uh, uh, aspects of getting the right hand really well in order to play well because without these alignments aligned properly and without doing the correct thing, you're going to have a lot of trouble trying to figure out the fingers. So really we just start with the thumb. We start with getting the thumb moving and the movement's very simple. It's just from here to here. And we actually going to touch our thumb to our index finger. And why is that important? Well just like in a golf swing, when we hit a golf ball we don't stop the second that we hit the golf ball. That would cause more tension. Tiger Woods is so good at what he does is when he swings, he releases all that energy into a really wide arcing uh, swing movement. Same thing with the fingers. We want to give the fingers the full uh, uh, range of motion, range of motion by giving the amount of energy that it needs in order to release. So P I M A C or P I M A on three. Four, three, two, one, and just take your thumb and real simply four times. All this while relaxing our arm, creating this mid-range position, and just beginning on step one. Okay? So if you guys uh, have any more questions, you can go to my Michael Isla Guitar community on Facebook. There's going to be some information about this lesson in particular, talk a little bit more about the muscles and the alignment of the body. Uh, whether you're doing classical or steel strength finger style, it's irrelevant because like I said, this is universal. Also, you'll be able to go to my YouTube page, Michael Isla, on YouTube uh, to take a look at some more videos as well. And you can also visit me at uh, islaguitar.com. That's I-S-L-A-G-U-I-T-A-R.com for more information. So let me know what you think. And I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks.